What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today for your faces I have the review of the Oakley M Frames 2.0. This is specifically the strike kit, the SI military version. So we're going to start at the back and then go forward. So right here you have some holes if you want to put some paracord or something just to tie around your neck if you want to have your glasses hang there. Next up we have a long strip of rubber here. This is super comfortable and is really comfortable against the side of your head. Next we have like all Oakley glasses do, we have the O, the Oakley sign or whatever, and then on the inside of these you have either the Made in the USA or on this side you have the Oakley M-Frame Strike 2.0 to label what kind of glasses it is. Up front here we have some ridges and stuff and then we have the lens itself. So these glasses are pretty sleek looking. They feel great, they're super comfortable. I really like them, I think they're great. You can see right here that it ha the lens actually goes all the way around, so you have a really wide field of vision. Honestly, the only thing I can see is this little top thing when I'm looking. I can't see the side, I can see it if I look all the way to the side, but it's got a really nice field of view and I can see a lot of different things and it's got great peripheral vision. I really like the nose piece on these as well. It's very comfortable. It's rubberized, so you can see it's just very comfortable on the nose. Honestly, I wear these in my car. I wear these when I'm shooting. Specifically, since my channel is focused on Airsoft, I have something for them, and this is called the Oakley Helo Kit. So the Oakley Helo Kit is basically a little rubber insert that goes inside. With any airsoft glasses, you have to have a full seal or ANSI rating. So by putting this Helo Kit in here, it enables it to be ANSI rated. So you go ahead and you snap it on the top. You just gotta hook it through right here. And then it takes a little while to learn how to do it, but it's pretty easy. You just kind of have to, I don't, I don't want to touch my lenses and get any handprints on them, but it's pretty, pretty easy. And like I said, you're not gonna be do, needing to do this much, but you just gotta make sure there's kind of a click and you gotta make sure that it seats right and that this goes over that. So you can see, that they look great, they feel great. Unfortunately, it cuts down a little bit on your field of vision. You can see that there's a little circle around here and it kind of cuts down a little bit on my field of vision, but altogether they're super comfortable and you can't get shot in the eye because it is a full seal. American Milsim Games, they often use this. There's a lot of guys there that use this. I know a lot of the staff of AMS uses it, um, but it's a very comfortable glasses kit and I really like them for airsoft as well as real steel shooting. I'll wear these a lot when I go real steel shooting with my friends. I'll throw them on, they're super comfortable. You can have these in here, but it's very unlikely that something's gonna shoot out. The only part that kinda is open is right here. But these glasses are incredible. They're fairly expensive for those of you that are younger, but I think they're definitely worth the investment, either airsoft or real steel. I think if you're a real steel shooter, you definitely need to get yourself a pair of these. You can also change out the lens color-wise. So for shooting, I'm also going to buy an amber lens, an orange lens, that enables me, kind of just gives that high def feel. You can get a yellow. There's something called persimmon, which is a really cool pink. And there's a lot of different things that you can do with this, with this glass if you want to do it for a wide variety of things. Thanks for watching this review, guys. This has been Alec Mac 1-in-1 in my review of the Oakley M-Frames. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.